Hi, I'm Marty Cooper. The thing that people know most about me uh, is that I did conceive of the first handheld cell phone. AT&T, this is a different AT&T. This is the old AT&T that was the biggest company in the world. Now, they invented the concept of cellular telephony, uh, and they believe that people ought to have car phones. Can you imagine? Instead of being trapped in your house or being stuck in your home, you're now going to be trapped in your car. And we didn't believe that. So we created that phone so that we could prove to the world that a little company like Motorola knew what the right answer was, which was personal handheld phones. It took a lot of really smart people to do that, and none of these people reported to me. Everybody was so enthusiastic that they set aside all of the projects they were doing. We literally shut down engineering in our company for three months while we created that first phone. We knew, even in 1973, that someday everybody would have a phone. In fact, we had a joke that we told that someday when you were born you would get a telephone number and if you didn't answer the phone you had died. We have only started what I call the cell phone revolution. Now, because once you are connected, there are all kinds of things you can communicate besides just your voice. We can measure all kinds of things on the human body, and you can have a physical examination being conducted continuously. And if you do that, instead of curing disease, which we are doing now with our healthcare system that's a broken system, we can anticipate problems and prevent disease. And that's going to be a huge revolution. It's going to save us tons of money, but most of all, we're going to live very healthful lives. The thing that I'm working on most now is trying to get our carriers, the operators that provide service, the people that manufacture the equipment, to use our radio spectrum much more efficiently. What does that mean? much lower cost. If we're going to do all of these new revolutionary things, the cost of delivering this information, the cost of a bit of information, has to go down by orders of magnitude. And in order for that have to happen, we have to use new technology, we have to have new regulatory processes, and those are the things that I'm working on today. From my earliest memories, I've had this intense desire to know how things work, what's inside, what makes things happen. Uh, and also, I've been uh, a fantasy lover and a dreamer, and I still am a dreamer today.